Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I wanted to play with some new makeup that I got for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos. Anything that I use will be listed down in the description box below. If you'd like to see how I do this, then keep on watching. So in today's video, I wanted to play with this new palette that I got. It's the Morphe and Abby Roberts palette. Um, my sister-in-law gave me this, so I'm really grateful to her for getting me a palette. She also got me some other stuff. It's like some face paint stuff and like a set for that. So I got some more stuff, but I'm just going to be playing with this palette and some, if you haven't seen my last video of playing with makeup, I got the Bailey Sarian collection for my husband. I'm going to be using some of that stuff as well in today's video. Second thing, I made the mistake of only giving myself an hour to get ready so i've only got like 20 minutes to do like my eyeshadow so i've already done my base off camera i'm just going to be doing eyeshadow and lipstick and stuff on camera and kind of showing you the new palette i really want to show you the packaging on this palette because it's really really cool um this is a little bit different than what i've seen people do it has like a little flap so you just pull this flap and it pulls the whole palette out which i really appreciate because i thought i was gonna have to struggle to get it out I also organized my makeup so you can see like some of my palettes like right here. So I've kind of organized my desk a little bit. I cleaned it and organized it a little bit. I'm going to start separating my makeup and hopefully putting them in organized bins instead of having to search for everything. But I'm really excited about having my desk organized. My desk is clean. I just have like a clean surface to work on now and it's really nice. This is what the packaging looks like. I think it is so cool looking. Like usually Morphe palettes are like really plain they're just black and they have like whoever's name is on it and I think this is really really cool and different I'll show you what it looks like when I open it this is what it looks like it's an artistry palette I have the James if you watched any of my other videos I use the Morphe and James Charles artistry palette a lot so I'm really excited to get a different one because I'm getting kind of bored with that one so that's another reason why I'm so excited about having new palettes there's some shimmers in here mattes bright colors and some of them have some of the funnest names because she said hello loves makeup for me has always been about not being afraid to be bold and expressive and showing my personality I wanted to create a collection that allows you all to do the same get creative and embrace the artistry so no matter who you are you can feel empowered to express yourself shades in this collection are all named after things and people that inspire me every day i hope you love them lots of love abby roberts so i think it's really funny because it says the shades in this collection are all named after things people that inspire me every day one of these shades this one just sticks out to me it's called hot sauce and i think it's hilarious that she points out that the names inspire her and hot sauce inspires her which i think is so funny and speaking of hot sauce i think i'm gonna use that i really when i opened this palette the first time looking at it i really wanted to use hot sauce so i think i'm going to be using that for my first look so what i wanted to create today is a halo look so i already knew what i wanted to do before i really knew what eyeshadow colors i wanted to use the only eyeshadow i knew i wanted to use was the hot sauce one i just didn't know what else i wanted to do but I knew I wanted to create a halo look with it just because it's simple, easy, and it's super cute. And it'll use some basic colors and some shimmers in this palette. So just starting with this outer part, I'm just going to create the little winged shape that I like to create with my eyeshadow. And then just kind of working it towards the middle. So the reason I am in a hurry is because I have an appointment to go to. And I've been keeping this secret from a lot of people for a while until Christmas time. So me and my husband are having a baby. And so the appointment that I'm going to is a baby appointment. I'm really excited, but I've been keeping this from everybody since um, until Christmas. We told all of our family and friends on Christmas. We been keeping it a secret since October. We found out in October after we got back from a trip that I was pregnant and like it wasn't planned or anything. So it is very, it is a surprise but we are excited about it. It's just not really what we were looking for <laughs> coming 2024. We definitely didn't expect it back in 2023. So it is new to us, and but we're excited about it. We're ready for it or as ready as we can be, I guess. So we weren't expecting it come October. I'm like four, almost four and a half weeks, four and a half months pregnant and I'm really, really excited about it. And so this is the appointment we're going to and I'm just, I just didn't give myself enough time to get ready because I was talking to my friend for too long and it's completely my fault. So I'm trying to get ready in a hurry. So I'm sorry about that if it seems rushed. I don't mean to do that. I'm just, this is the only day that I scheduled to film other than Thursday. So I just don't have another day that I can film. I guess it was a good excuse to tell you guys now 
that me and my husband are having a baby this year. So the baby is due June 5th, with a, which I think is really exciting because my husband and I, we started dating June 6th of 2014. So this year will be our decade of being together. And I think it'll be really, really exciting if the baby comes on June 6th. I think it would be so much fun for our baby to be here on our anniversary and our 10 year anniversary at that. I think it would just be such a cool little story. But they are due June 5th. They're gonna be a little spring baby, almost summer baby. I'm a summer baby. I love this summer. I guess it worked out because I always wanted to be pregnant if when I got pregnant during the winter time. So I wasn't dying of heat while being gigantic. So I guess it worked out in my favor to be pregnant starting October. So I also put this hot sauce shade in the inside just to finish off that halo shape. I'm gonna bring it a little bit more in because I'm gonna try to center it. Something else that I think is also exciting about the baby is my husband and I have decided, which we knew this before, like even thinking about getting pregnant and finding out, we knew that we, for our first, we didn't wanna know the gender until they were born. So we are waiting until the baby's here before finding out the gender. So we are not doing like a gender reveal or anything. We won't be finding the gender out at all. So that of course means our family won't know until they're here either. And I think it's super exciting. My mom did that with, I think it was me when I was born. She wanted it to be a surprise and she said it's like the best thing ever. She's like, it's so exciting to just wait and see what the baby's gonna be when they get here instead of knowing beforehand. So we knew that way before even having a baby that we wanted to do that with our first. I think I have the shape that I want. The next shade I'm gonna use, so I thought about using, there's some really pretty silver shimmers in here. There's one that has like purple flecks in it, but after looking at the orange, there is a peach orange like shimmer shade in here. It's called Peach, peach Tea. It's called Peach Tea spelled like peach, but then just a T. So I'm gonna pick that up on my finger and just put this right in the center of this. Oh yeah, this was definitely a good go-to. This is cute. And I'm just doing a simple halo, not being too extreme about it just because I am in a hurry. I think there's lots of stuff that I can do with this palette. So I'm really excited to, I'm really excited to get into the artistry part of this and creating like super cool looks with this but i thought this was a good go-to to get ready for my baby appointment and quick and easy do you think i want to take some of this icy shade it's like a classic silver and just kind of put that in the middle and i'm just using like a like a pointed brush it doesn't have a number or anything i'm just gonna put this kind of in the center just give it more of a little highlight in the inside then just kind of blend it out with the peach tea shade. That peach tea shade is so pretty. Just a little subtle silver in there. Cute. Yeah, I like that. I didn't do a bad job on the shape. Last The last video I did, I did a terrible job on the shape and I hated it the whole time, the whole time I was doing it. But I did a better job this time after doing my base. Taking a Bella Lash brush, I'm gonna take that hot sauce shade and just kind of dust it underneath of my eye. And then just kind of connect it to the rest of the shape on the top of my lid. Just kind of blend it out. I would say this palette is like really like any other kind of Morphe formula. If you like Morphe eyeshadow, this is gonna be very similar. I don't think the formula is a lot different than the other Morphe palettes that I have. And I have two other ones, I think. For my waterline, I'm gonna use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. I thought white would be a good go-to for this. I haven't used white in a while. I feel like sometimes it's too much. So that's why I've been using the black, but I want an excuse to use the white. So I'm using the white today. All right, a new product that I have, this is from the Bailey Sarian collection. Um, it's her Melt Ultra Matte Gel Liner in the shade Onyx. It's just a black eyeliner and I wanted to try it out. So I figured this would be a good time to try it. Oh my God, I just dropped it. <laughs> using a M160-116 brush, I'm going to make a regular wing out of this gel liner. It's really creamy, I really like that. I feel like the other gel pot that I have, it works really well, but you kind of have to sit there and like fight it to get it off the brush. So it's not as creamy as this one. And I really like how creamy this one is. Makes it really easy to use and to apply. Like this is not taking, I thought I was gonna have to work with it a little bit, but I did not. So I really like that. 
thing. This might be my new favorite eyeliner with how easy it's able to be used. And then just making a regular wing. Okay, yeah, I really like this. This is so easy. And eyeliner is not my friend. So being able to just make a wing, no problems, and it'd be pretty dang sharp. I'm very happy about it. The product's just right there for me. Don't have to sit there and fight it or wonder where it's at. Oh yeah, so easy. And that's that's it. Done. I really haven't used a wing, I haven't used a liner in a while just because I don't do a lot of makeup looks with wing liner because I always mess it up. I'm really happy with this one. I'm gonna see what it's like to make like the inner corner. That's the one I struggle with the most. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it does work really well. I just don't, it doesn't make a sharp enough point and that's just because of the brush I'm using. But I'd say it does a good job. So that is all I'm doing for eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do the other eye off camera really quick and I'll be right back to finish everything. Other eyes on, so I'm gonna use the Peach Tea Shimmer as a highlighter. I think it'll be a good highlighter to use. So I'm just gonna pick that up with my finger and just kind of dab it on my cheeks. Just kind of blend it out. I feel like this pigment, pigment goes a long way. Use it on my nose. I'm gonna use it for just all of my highlight. Just because I really like this shade. I am running behind. I'm gonna use the Ultra Matte All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban K. I realized that I forgot to put mascara on, so I did it just a second ago. I use the mascara They Are Real by Benefit. For lip liner, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liner in the shade Rosewood. Wanted to use a new lipstick that I got for Christmas. This is the Melt X Bailey Sarian Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Nutmeg. So that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I like hearing y'all's feedback, so please comment down below with anything you'd like to tell me or any future videos you'd like to see. Until next time, bye.